Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. We're in the midst of a series of videos here being recorded on the same day as I burn up in the Atlanta area here. Um, and finally, we're going to focus in on something that is just straight up a new Star Wars release. We've done some Star Wars adjacent stuff, but time to kind of bring us back to our bread and butter here and looking at something that is a new Star Wars release, in this case from the UK, is the equivalent, kind of, of some stuff that we've seen recently from the US. In the US, we recently saw this, the 4K release of Obi-Wan Kenobi, the complete series in steelbook form. We also saw the same thing as a Blu-ray release. Well, in the UK, once again, their release was a little bit delayed compared to the US release, and they've staggered them out again. So Andor is actually coming later for the UK. Obi-Wan is already out as of the time that I'm recording this. And as we saw with The Mandalorian Seasons 1 and 2, they sort of took a hybrid approach in the UK that I think is more consumer-friendly than what we got in the US. And that is that instead of giving us a 4K release and a Blu-ray release that you could certainly buy separately if you like, in the UK, they got a combo pack, just like with Mandalorian. This is the UK release of the Obi-Wan Kenobi, the complete series, steelbook, from Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment. So what we got here is, again, similar look to the Steelbook. We'll come back to it in just a second. It is a sort of cup form J card again, where basically, right, it's like this. You just slip it into the J card. So on the J card, we have Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, the complete series, the ratings here, 4K Ultra HD, plus Blu-ray, includes bonus extras and concept art cards. We're not going to talk about the bonus features. We did that in depth when we talked about the U.S. releases. Go see that episode. Then in the corner, we've got that shot there um, of just the open steelbook with the art cards, but not the discs. And then on the side, you've got your ratings and product number here. Same thing over there, ratings and product number. The back, similar setup to the U.S. here, but we got 4K Ultra HD Collector's Edition, the complete series. No mention of Blu-ray there, but it does show the Blu-ray and 4K discs here. And the art cards, the episode list, the bonus feature list, how to use the 4K stuff, specifications, various icons like Dolby Atmos. And then we've got our ratings again, UPC, legalese, tiny bit about it up at the top. So very similar in design, not exactly the same, of course, but similar design here. But again, we'll see some differences when we actually look at the content itself. So let me remove the discs here. It is a four disc set. So first off, here is your steelbook. Again, like with Mandalorian, it is a matte finish. The US versions, I can't imagine you're gonna be able to tell, it sort of can maybe, a little bit more reflective, is a glossy finish. So a different finish again. On the back, you're going to find the Lucasfilm and the legalese and stuff is kind of darker gray here, so more similar to the U.S. version in that regard. You have Lucasfilm, Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. No number here because it is just one and done. And then the Blu-ray symbol down here at the bottom. So matte, but otherwise pretty similar to what we saw in the U.S. The big difference being that they put the Lucasfilm here up at the top and put the format down at the bottom and only used Blu-ray, whereas in the U.S., I don't know if we put these together here, you didn't have Lucasfilm on there and it had the formats up at the top, if you're putting them vertically there. Inside, it has that same artwork again, that same shot there, but of course, now there needs to be that arm to be able to hold two discs and two discs, uh, two Blu-ray and two 4K discs. It does include the art cards, which again, have no protection really, uh, because of the way that it's set up there. You know, in the U.S. versions, you can stick it into the holder in the side because there's only two discs to worry about that can be on one side. Here with the arm, you run the risk of having the arm, uh, the center spoke, poke into your art cards, so be careful with them here. Um, but it is the same art cards again, basically. So you have Obi-Wan there holding back the water, Leia there on Alderaan, Vader getting off the shuttle. Um, the numbers for these, once again, are different uh, than the U.S. ones. These are BUT 4021901IN for International 1, 2, and 3. Numbers there on the back with the legalese. Um, as to the art cards, again, kind of a similar thing here. These, the U.S. ones feel a little more glossy 
than the UK ones, though not by a ton this time. But again, the product numbers on the back are different to indicate international or US. As far as the discs go, we again see what we saw with The Mandalorian. Here's the US version of the first disc of Obi-Wan. Notice there, the text is a little hard to read. You got your silhouette there, but the idea is that it's kind of like you got this regular silver disc and they've done the color overlay with sort of cutouts, you could say, so to speak, to be able to show the words in the cutouts and the silhouette there. So you're seeing that sort of silver, that reflective silver, which looks cool, but makes it kind of hard to read underneath it. Well, in the UK, they did the same thing they did with Mandalorian and instead gave us that same design, but instead of, hey, look, it's clear or silver, just went with white for all the text and the silhouettes, which I think looks a hell of a lot cleaner. More plain, maybe, but way cleaner and easier to read. So we have Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, the complete series, disc one, episodes one through three, 4K Ultra HD, Ultra HD Blu-ray, Lucasfilm, ratings, number there, legalese, another product number there at the bottom. All right, so just a nice, cleaner looking setup, in my humble opinion. Same setup there for the other 4K disc, for the remaining episodes there, just with the Vader silhouette. And then I can't imagine, I have to say it, because it's probably obvious, but when you break out the Blu-rays for the US, they were the same way with the whole, we're gonna just make it look like it's see-through silver and who cares how legible it is. For the UK, same approach with going with white. So we have for the Blu-ray, Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, the complete series, disc one, episodes one through three, Blu-ray disc, Lucasfilm, Ratings, Region ABC, Legalese and Product Numbered stuff there. And then for the remaining episodes on Blu-ray with our COG. Right. So not really a surprise what we're seeing here. The same distinctions between the UK version and the US version that we saw before with Mando. So if you want Blu-ray and 4K in the US, they are separate. In the UK, they are combined. There is no need to have a consideration about digital copy codes because there aren't any. Hell, there's not even you know, Disney Movie Insider's points codes in these at all. Um, the same art cards are in both, although they're slightly different finishes this time. Uh, barely noticeable across regions, which also means you'll have different product numbers on the backs of those. And when it comes to the actual discs themselves, while the content is effectively the same, uh, different language options typically, but the same you know, episodes, the same bonus features, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the US versions have that silver look, they're a little less legible. The UK version is a little more plain look with the white, but more legible. Um, and of course, with the steelbooks themselves, matte finish for the UK, glossy finish for the US, which also necessitates by having the combined formats, a slight difference in how the spines are constructed in terms of what information it shows. But Again, I think that if you are someone in the U.S., especially because these are all region discs, if you like the idea of having a Blu-ray and a 4K version of Obi-Wan and you are willing to wait or you haven't got them yet, maybe import the one from the U.K. It's a combined package. It's just a better general deal in terms of what you are getting, although, you know, uh, the different exchange rates might wind up uh, turning around to bite you here. But personally, um, I really wish the U.S. had combo versions like we see in the U.K. for all of these releases. But instead, we are left buying both, two copies that is, uh, if we want both formats. So again, kudos to Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment over in the U.K. for creating a better package, albeit a slightly different package than what we got in the U.S. Which one will you favor? Your mileage will certainly vary. I know which one I would lean towards just from a compact space standpoint. But with that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers, including those in the UK who are still waiting for the first season of Andor. I do not get why they stagger these over there.